the Beaverton, how to plan a wedding. Planning a wedding can be stressful, but it's also very important. After all, a well-planned wedding is more essential to the success of a marriage than common interests, work-life balance, and love combined. So we're going to show you how to plan the perfect wedding. First, pick a venue. It should be large enough to accommodate your guests, much like the dog track bleachers where you first met your fiancé. But it should also be special, like the dog track bathroom where you first made love. Next, you'll want to alienate at least 60% of your family members. It's going to happen at some point, but if you do it now, you'll save a fortune on per plate costs. The fastest way to do this is to tell them exactly what you think of them. Remember, check which of your uncles is fun and which is creepy before you place one of them at the young singles table. Spoiler alert, it's not the one you expect. Next, you need to get a caterer. You'll be expected to provide appetizers, a main course, and dessert, but keep in mind that all your guests are allergic to every food, and none of them like meat or vegetables. There are also some things that will 100% happen on your wedding day that you should prepare yourself for now. Grooms. The best man will make a gay joke at your expense, even though he knows two of your cousins are gay and it's the 21st century. Brides. The maid of honor will talk about all the people you slept with in university. Your nana will have questions. Also, the religious side of both your families will find a way to slip a prayer into the ceremony. When it happens, just grit your teeth and pretend this was your idea. Of course, if you want to avoid all of this, you could just elope. But then you'd never hear the end of it for the next 40 years. And now you know how to plan a wedding.